This is one of the most exciting videos I think I've made on Nintendo Switch 2 in quite some time. And you guys know we've spent a lot of time this year in 2023 and a little bit in 2022 talking about Nintendo Switch 2. We've had so many podcast episodes. We've had so many rumors and speculations and leaks from NVIDIA last year and Look, I like talking about future technology. I am a tech enthusiast, so upcoming products that are unannounced or even announced, obviously, are really, really exciting to me. I mean, I had my hands on Switch OLED a week before it ever became public and made a bunch of content around it because I was so excited. I spent a lot of extra money to be able to make that content for you guys. I like talking about this stuff. Now, the stuff we have today is about Nintendo Switch 2 and isn't your typical rumor affair. We're not talking about typical stuff like from Nate the Hate or anything that's like, I don't know, Andy Robinson. We're actually going into something that seems a bit more tangible and actually has some evidence behind it. And when I say evidence, legal documentation. Things are getting pretty crazy here in the world of Switch 2. So crazy that what if I were to tell you two major things about Switch 2 in this video? There's going to be two sections. The first, forget the 8-inch LCD. Nintendo Switch 2 may have an OLED screen. And we're going to talk about how we know this. Next, next, and this is very key we might actually know what the gimmick of the system is that makes it so different from the Nintendo Switch. And let's just say this gimmick, not only is it a game changer in certain ways, it is something you legitimately are going to be excited for. It is a good gimmick. Oh my gosh, what are we talking about? Well, let's dive right in. Because one of the earliest reports for Nintendo Switch 2, beyond the T239 NVIDIA confirmed leak, NVIDIA confirmed it themselves last year, was the 8-inch LCD display reported at many outlets. The primary source on this was Nate the Hate, again, still a rumor, who made the statement back in August of this year, shortly after all the reports came out from reputable outlets that dev kits were now landing in key partners hands in the middle of july of this year this report was then corroborated later from other journalists who said their sources which were developers had told them the same thing meaning it was highly likely that the dev units probably have an eight inch lcd display however what is also true is in july Samsung filed a copyright infringement lawsuit against BOE Technologies in several countries over a handful of different patents. Samsung is currently a Nintendo and Steam Deck partner, providing OLED panels for both systems. However, so is BOE Technologies. Unknown to many because we don't follow this space that closely, BOE Technologies is the market leader in LCD screen production and, yes, has their own OLED panels as well. Nintendo Switch and Switch Lite happen to use BOE Technologies as a major provider of the LCD panels in Nintendo Switch, and so does Valve for the Steam Deck. They offer industry-best pricing and have a huge stranglehold on the manufacturing of LCD panels, specifically in China, but also worldwide. Now, we originally never paid attention to this because lawsuits happen all the time. However, it is now being reported out of South Korea, a country where many tech companies do manufacture components, including Samsung for these devices, that companies like Valve and Nintendo are looking to drop BOE technologies moving forward. All right, so why does this even matter? Well, it's stated that Nintendo is looking to switch to Samsung OLED panels for their next generation device, 
Going away from the LCD panels they were using from BOE Technologies in their next device. This appears to be largely in part because Samsung is seeing some very early success with their lawsuits against BOE Technologies, as it's slowly becoming increasingly apparent that they have infringed on Samsung's technology. And Nintendo, like any big business, doesn't want to get caught on the losing side, potentially being forced to hard switch early in a console's life. Now, this report has come from several places, but I'm going to give you the one that's on the ground floor in South Korea, which is an outlet called Chosen Biz, who does provide an official English version of their article for international audiences. As you see, they titled it Global IT Companies Tapped to Collaborate with Samsung for Avoiding lawsuits. So, as the article says, major video game companies are contacting Samsung's display to avoid legal disputes. Following Valve, which is an American video game company mass producing and selling the portable gaming device Steam Deck, Japanese multinational video game company Nintendo is reportedly in talks with Samsung Display to display next generation OLED or which is organic light emitting diodes, panels for various IT devices. On December 1st, 2023, that's today, although might have been yesterday for Japan. Anyways, time zones and everything. Nintendo reportedly asked Samsung Display to supply OLED panels. The OLED display is a self-luminous display using organic materials that self-illuminate when a current flows through them. Both companies initially considered Chinese electronic components producer BOE as a supplier. However, analysts say that they switched to Samsung due to the risk of damages from a patent infringement lawsuit filed by Samsung Display. Back in June of 2023, Samsung Display filed a patent infringement lawsuit against BOE in the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Texas. The alleged infringement technologies are five OLED display patents for all products released after the iPhone 12. Samsung claims that BOE is directly infringing on its patents by selling panels like those used in the iPhone 12 in the United States market. It recently filed a complaint in the United States International Trade Commission against BOE and eight other companies, including BOE's subsidiaries for trade secret infringement. In December 22, Samsung Display filed a complaint with the ITC against 17 U.S. component wholesalers to stop them from using parts and panels that infringe on the company's Diamond Pixel to keep BOE in check. According to Samsung Display, the Diamond Pixel is the atoms of the Samsung Display, consisting of red, blue, and green screen dots in the shape of diamonds. Now, just for reference, this isn't the only place you need to go for this lawsuit. It's a very real thing. A quick Google search literally shows how widely reported it's been. It's absolutely insane. This is a massive lawsuit in the world of display technologies. Of course, look, that's on OLED panels. And you know what? If they need to drop BOE as an LCD supplier to not upset Samsung, there are other LCD options for Nintendo. LG is an example, but they don't make the panels at nearly the same cost as BOE. Samsung is also, as we're aware, a key manufacturing partner for Nintendo that also helps them not rely solely on Chinese factories, and they do actually make some of the Switch components beyond the OLED display. Samsung was a major LCD manufacturer for many years themselves, but they did stop making LCD panels to focus on QLED and OLED panels exclusively in 2022. So while Nintendo could probably continue to work with BOE on LCD technologies and panels, it could cause a major strain in their business partnership with Samsung. If all of this is true, the consumers themselves, us, yes, that we get to play, would be the ones to benefit the most. If a decision was made recently, which the reporting suggests, to switch to Samsung OLED panels, that means the Nintendo Switch 2 would launch with an OLED screen. The better technology, making a lot of potential buyers very happy. Now... That's all good and dandy, and what a doozy. Let's just think about this for a moment. Those displays 
being OLED would just be phenomenal. This does not mean the report of the 8-inch LCD was wrong because that would have been done and those units would have been made before this lawsuit was really, really, really kicking into gear. So again, if the lawsuit is going heavily in Samsung's way, you don't want to strain partnerships with the number one OLED display maker in the world, then hey, and you know what? They actually might be using, there's reports out there, Nintendo might be using Samsung again to ha help manufacture the actual literal chip inside the system. Samsung is a major partner for Nintendo. So if you wonder why, hey, why would them suing the hell out of BOE Technologies over an unrelated display technology make Nintendo want to contact Samsung and maybe switch? Because Samsung is that important to the point they literally might be printing and building the actual chips used inside Switch 2. So again, this is a massive company for Nintendo and they want to avoid any possible conflicts it might just make sense to say, you know what? We recently just talked to Samsung. I think we want to use them for our display technology for our new system. We we don't wanna we don't wanna mess around. We don't wanna be involved in this legal battle. We don't wanna upset you. Let's just go with you. You're already our partner and already helping make components in the first place. Pretty crazy. Now, that's not all, guys. Because we might actually know what the gimmick of the next system is and it does technically come from a rumor, an older rumor, a rumor you may have forgotten about, but now it just got some official backing. Actually, we now know it's an idea that Nintendo has had pitched to them several times and not just pitched by some random gamer on the internet. How about Masahiro Sakurai himself? Yeah, is that a big enough name for you? He actually put up a new video detailing a suggestion he has made to Nintendo for new hardware and he has stated in that video that occasionally nintendo has come to him for suggestions on what to include as for what he suggested well since the gamecube days he keeps suggesting the same feature for the controller and he's made the suggestion several times over the years a scroll wheel he even showed a proposal document he submitted to nintendo during the gamecube days now naturally at that time with what they were doing with wii the idea probably wouldn't have made sense but it would replace the l or r buttons and can still be pressed like a button okay it could make a lot of sense he called it a jog dial back then suggesting it could help you with camera movement and menu navigation as you know, just easy examples. And he compared it to a mouse wheel for how useful it could be. Then he goes on to show other use cases in games. He does mention scroll wheels are quite large, so it may be hard to include using a Switch controller as an example, which may mean he actually made this suggestion leading into the Nintendo Switch. Now, why does this matter? Well, a rumor from, I don't know, about five months, Math, suggested literally that this exact thing was being implemented potentially in Switch 2. You may recall a rumor we covered about a TSA agent who posted anonymously discovering an unusual tech device in a Pelican case that triggered a metal detector at the airport. The carrier heavily requested for a private screening, and in that screening, the device was pretty large and similar in size and look to a Wi-Fi router with a game controller, and it all sort of looked to be unfinished, almost like it may be a prototype or a dev unit of some kind. It had a scroll wheel in place of the upper L and R buttons above the traditional triggers. Now, what does this have to do with Nintendo? Reportedly, the man in question had Nintendo business cards stating that he actually worked at a position, didn't name the position, for Nintendo's research and development department. Obviously, if this is true, that was likely a dev unit of some time for internal Nintendo purposes. Of course, all of this is unverified and was posted anonymously. But here's where it got weird. Later, the person did a weird thing and provided actual evidence that they do work for the TSA, but I'm not going to divulge or show that evidence as it included enough information to actually figure out who the said person was and what airport they worked at for the TSA. Still, this is an account from them that we will never be able to fully verify in the first place. But it is interesting that Sakurai brings up this suggestion and that he's been continuing to suggest it, and maybe Nintendo finally decided to run with the idea for Nintendo Switch 2 after all. 
or it was just a prototype of something that will never see the light of day. Some did wonder why you would be traveling with it, but if it's a prototype and there's maybe only one or a handful in existence at that time, it's natural that you have business meetings with various departments in different countries of, well, your company. And hey, you know what? You're not going to send something like that through the mail. You're going to want to personally bring that to ensure it never gets lost, never gets stolen, and doesn't leak out. Now, again, we don't know that that's what the gimmick's going to be on Nintendo Switch 2, but it's very, very interesting that Masahiro Sakurai himself just posted a video the same day these reports are coming out about the manufacturing and the OLED panels that are just like, hey, by the way, I've been suggesting this feature to Nintendo repeatedly since the Nintendo GameCube days, and here's an idea of how it could work. Here's why I think we should have it. Here's all the functionality, and he showed other functionality, including games. And I honestly, if this is the gimmick for Nintendo Switch 2, I am so happy because this only increases functionality. I'm trying to look for a controller. I don't have one right next to me. But imagine taking the L and R buttons on the Joy-Cons, the L and R buttons on controllers, replace it with a scroll wheel. I, I, I really like this. Th this, to me, would be a ground-changing uh, way to control games. It would add functionality without removing functionality, if that makes sense. And it would be a massive functional difference between Switch 2 and and the original Switch, especially if none of that stuff is actually compatible with the original Switch. It, it, they just make the controllers, you know, the Pro Controllers, the, those Joy-Con 2s only work with the new technology. I am, wow, guys. We might get, be getting an OLED panel. We might be getting the scroll wheel for buttons. I think this is pretty exciting stuff. Now, again, I have to always remind people towards the end of the videos, this is not Nintendo making an announcement. Nintendo's not out here revealing a system. There's no guarantee we're going to have an OLED panel. There's no guarantee that we're going to have those scroll wheel buttons. What we have are reports and, and old rumors resurfacing due to stuff Masahiro Sakurai apparently has been suggesting Nintendo for years. And by the way, we didn't know Masahiro Sakurai has been suggesting this stuff. So that just might lend a little more credence. Guys, I am really excited for what this system might be. And now we just have to sit back and imagine the possibilities. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.